soap opera idol, villain Barnabas Collins. Stay with us. Opera fan from way back, you are in for a treat. In the late 60s, a gothic soap opera called Dark Shadows hit the air. It starred a vampire played by Jonathan Frid. Dark Shadows only ran for five years, but it's in reruns in many parts of the country. And Jonathan Frid today is something of a cult figure. He is currently starring in the Muni's production of the old comedy Arsenic and Old Lace, and he joins us now. Welcome. Thank you, Rick. It's lovely to be here. It has been quite a while since you have done Dark Shadows. What do you think about that role now and, and the show? Well, uh, I'm sort of carrying on the tradition in Arsenic and Old Lace, in a sense. Um, I mean, I'm playing a rather threatening character in Arsenic and Old Lace uh, in a comic vein. Uh, but still a, a bit of a threat. Uh, I, uh, looking back on Dark Shadows today, I think it's much better than I thought it was at the time. Uh, every once in a while, I wish it would do it more often, but it seemed to coalesce into something really quite lovely at times. Recognize this uh, gentleman on the screen right there? Oh. That's you uh, a few years ago. You gave him a very sympathetic tilt though, as opposed to just the Well, I do that with any, any account. I've been playing heavy since I was 16. And uh, if the guy's bad, I'll look for the good in him. And if, if I'm playing a goody two-shoes, I'll look for something nasty in him. And that keeps the character the mobile. There's more fascination, more depth that way. Do you I've always done that. Do you enjoy playing villains? Oh, sure. Oh, yes, they're always more fun than, than, uh, than the uh, straight That's roles, right. so to speak. Uh, and I've found this in Arsenic and Old Lace, that uh, uh, if an audience isn't, which is very seldom, is a little low in reacting to our funny lines, uh, I can go back into the character of Jonathan Brewster and uh, not be bothered counting my laughs. But um, that doesn't happen too often anyway, because we got them rolling on the aisles with Arsenic and Old Lace. And How do you explain it. the popularity of that comedy? It's kind of what today we would call a, uh, a dark or black comedy. In the well, 40s, it was immensely a, popular. I read the, uh, your critic in the paper this morning, and uh, he had a word for it, and he loved it. And we're all delighted by that. Uh, but uh, he called it wacky uh, comedy of the world previous to World War II. And that's a good, I haven't heard that term in a long while, but that's what it is, a wacky comedy. It's farce, it borders on farce, it's a comedy farce. I mean, when you think of the premise, without getting into it now, but uh, it's uh, hysterical, it's a hysterical thing. And uh, if, if you get a role in that show, it just never stops. And we've experienced many nights where the audience, uh, if they don't laugh at something, they're too exhausted. It just waves of laughter. And you, know, you, get, you, know, you get your pains you get in your sore. side. You know, and what a cast yeah. you're working with. Oh, I mean, the best. Such wonderful comedians. And uh, which leads me to my one-man show, Fools and Fiends, which I'm getting ready for next year, and I'm doing it on the road when I can. And meanwhile, my co-producer is booking that for college tour next year. And since I last did it in the fall, I did it in Philadelphia at the Walnut Street Theater about two weeks ago. And what I've learned from being with these artists and Arsenic and Old Lace has made that show so much better. I've been working with the best comedians for three months now, and it's rubbing off on me. It's, I mean, I've played comedy before, but I've never considered myself a comedian, like, you know, an uppercase. Um, so it broadens you as but well. But it broadens me, and, uh, and I mean, I have played lots of comedy, and I love doing it. Uh, but it, you really get your talents sharpened when you're with people like Larry Storch and, and uh, Gene Stapleton and, and Gary Sandy and Marion. They're wonderful to be with. It's a, it's a very, very happy family, and we, we have a ball with each other. And uh, we play off one another. It's just, it's great fun. How long does the play run? It's here in St. Louis until the end of this week. Unfortunately, we're not going to be here any longer. So get over there and see us. <laughs> and come next year and see me in Fools and Fiends. Uh, Jonathan Fritz Fools and Fiends, which I hope to bring back, I intend to bring back next year. And we can still see you, of course, on reruns of Dark Shadows. Exactly. So you've got it going all. I understand all of our shows are here right now in St. Louis, all five of us that are starring in the show. We each have our shows that we became known for going on right now. So a gold mine. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us Rick, today, and good pleasure. luck. Thank you very much. Okay.